Seconds. Waiting for your stream to up. Date. Got witness and elation. Um, you know, I did cast elation last time, so you know it should be a pretty fun game. You're also what this is my first time casting witness as well, so I've never really experienced witness. Elation, I'm pretty sure lost their last game, but um, you know, holding out hope for them. Um, just give me one second. I think that they're probably going to win this game, especially since the last game that they won against. I forget who they won against. I think it was one for three. But um, that a really, really like faulty game that last game. I feel like, especially since they re, they reprogrammed some of their stack, so that they put in some new players. I believe, so I expect some pretty good things from them. I don't know what to expect from Witness, so right now I'm going to ride with Elation. I'm joined with Clutch right now. Clutch is my co-caster. Uh, Clutch, do you um have a prediction for this game? Okay. I just asked if they're ready. Doesn't seem like they put in that they're ready. They did a while ago, but I don't believe that they uh, put it in just yet. But we should be good now. That's witness. Just waiting for elation. And that's elation. All right, good luck, have fun to both teams. And we are on Clubhouse today, so, you know, Clubhouse. Witness starting on defense, you could definitely expect maybe a upstairs CCTV hold. Um, I'm very interested to see if they try to play vertical pressure on, on Elation side, or if they, depending on the ban, usually sometimes you do, it is pretty common to see a Thatcher ban on top of a uh, Maverick ban, maybe double bam both of those bring out the Cali so that the Cali is the only way that you can really get any vertical pressure aces are pretty OP on this map for hatch pressure as well just because you can put it on the side it's pretty hard to shoot the aces for some reason through floors do you see the default Thatcher ban Thatcher is going to be getting nerfed pretty soon so should be pretty interesting um, I think it's probably going to be a Mav ban, either a Mav ban or a Finca, Zo Flores. Flores is definitely possible as well. I don't really see a lot of Flores played on this map, though, so I wouldn't be, like, too thrilled with that ban. A Habana ban. Habana ban is actually pretty common on this map as well, just because of the amount of pressure that you can put on all, with all of her breachers, or her gadget with the breaching opportunities with the gadget. Now they're stuck on Thermite, Ace, and... Um, Maverick to try and open up hatches. Hatch control is definitely going to be very difficult. Let's see if they get this Cade ban off the board. Mira ban, that is also kind of common to see, especially if you're trying to attack a mirror. It is so much more difficult. When you try and walk down those main stairs, walking down those main stairs are de it's definitely hell to try and go against a mirror just because the mirror has so much of an advantage on you unless there's unless you have like nades and stuns to overload the mirror. Past that, there's not much that you can do. Cade rounds up the bans. Pretty, you know, generic bands across the board. I'm very excited to see how well, uh, how they will adapt to that Habana ban. We do get the Finca Zofia LMG buff out. Rounding out that top three is probably going to be Ace Mav. Depending on the floor that they're going, I definitely expect that Sledge to maybe be picked for Yana slash maybe uh, a Buck to help with vertical pressure. But past that, if they are going downstairs, which they are, which is basement arsenal they're going to be running sledge and sticking to that sledge they on the defender side we have them lucy valk smoke jaeger and vigil vigil is that one of those operators that's just going to be super hectic to try and play Attackers against because you don't exactly know where they are the whole time so 
so it's going to be pretty, uh, you know, frustrating for the attack to try and go find him. Hopefully he has a really good game and his aim is on so that he can hit the shots that he needs to to win these rounds. Especially since Elation is a pretty damn good team in my opinion. And if they if they want a shot to, at winning this game, they definitely need them to uh, step up. Uh, they definitely need the Vigil to step up. And uh, especially if they put him on a roll and they trust that, you know, you're not really bringing a lot of utility. So we trust that, you know, you're going to go do that. Doesn't look like they're switching out the sledge for a buck, which is what I did predict for a little bit more verticality. A little surprised that they, you know, switched to a buck for downstairs, especially since sledge is pretty damn OP going downstairs. But I'm not too upset. Still pretty much the same utility, except for you do get rid of the nades and switch out for stuns. Um, a little bit questionable utility, in my opinion, on the attacker side, especially with the two people with double claymores. Um, Zofia running the claymore is a little bit sh questionable to me, just because you get rid of a lot of the breaching potential. It does look like Vigil des does decide to go downstairs and jump outside. It does look like they're trying to clear over from the jacuzzi side. Did they clear that downstairs, maybe even apply a load of vertical pressure onto that kitchen hall? See if they, you know, can get their foothold immediately. Bucket's already in cash, clearing top of it very well. Very interested to see how this Vigil wants to play. Let me see if I can switch to him in time. He does go downstairs, and it does look like they might have complete control on the entire stairs so far, and upstairs. Doesn't look like there's a single roamer around. And uh, that was a very good and effective roam clear. Now they have all the time in the world to start, you know, executing their sights up. Very interested to see how well, you know, the players are going to be able to try and react. Does look like two of them are on Valk cams while the other is you know, peaking main stairs. And um, one is managing to rotate through garage. I'm very interested to see how well he can do with this flank. Especially since they don't know that he's garaged just yet. Does look like Jinx might catch this player off guard because he doesn't expect them to uh, walk through. He does give himself away with the uh, shots on T'Challa. But I do believe he has dipped back to sight. Safely in sight. You know, waiting for these last players to come through. It does look like they opened up that main hatch. And they are starting to apply pressure onto the staircase. But C4 did not land. So I'm very interested to see how they're going to try and get this pressure off, especially with the smoke in dirt. I feel like the smoke can have a really good play here. They do understand that the player is in that corner right there. They're going to send out that ace element to see if they can breach open the bottom of the stairs. Oh, I believe it might have also been uh, ace strike. So there is one player creeping down blue. I believe that they might know. Hulky with a pick on the shrimp. That's the ace off the board. All of his utility was burned, so I'm not very surprised by that. It looked like the Malushi does whiff a little bit of her shots. 2v3 in the situation. Buck in a 1vx situation without the fuser in his hand right now. One player in dirt while the others are in church. This does look like a witness round to me. You know, a great execute across the board when it comes to uh, witness. I'm very surprised that they stalled out on their attack uh, elation just because, you know... They, they had such a good foothold early into the round. There was no roamers. They did manage to let the Vigil kind of crawl back up into Garage, but it's not like the Vigil was able to put any more pressure onto the players. It does take time to try and clear that Vigil out of uh, maybe the Harry Potter staircase. But past that, you know, a great, a great execute on the attacking round, but it does seem like they maybe stalled a little bit. And, uh, you know, that's what cost them the round. I'm very. I'm also kind of a little disappointed to see that the ace was picked off so early, you know, early into the or not early, but you know, him having diffuser and him being the first one die, you know, that means either your entries aren't doing your job or you're getting too aggressive as hard breach. I'm very interested to see over the rounds to see how well that uh, hard hard support player shrimp, you know, does across the board. It does look like they kind of switched a little bit of their roles out. Um, they are switching. The Finca and the Sledge player. I'm a little surprised that they're keeping Sledge on this side as well. You know, you usually see a little swip swap or uh, swapped, so that you know 
you have a buck, so you can play vertical on this site. I do understand that you can hot nade on this site as well, but that's why you would almost, you know, prefer to choose Yana, just because Yana has a more breaching capability at a distance than Sledge. I'm not terribly upset with the Sledge pick either, but it does look like they switched to Buck, which is, you know, what, you know, usual, usually people would do, especially on a site like this. It does look like a spawn peak from Blue, I believe? Did come out from the player. Let me see if I could try and find where that spawn peak was. It wasn't blue. It was on that stock doorway. Great spawn peak coming out from Flynn's right there. That's what you want to see out of a player like him. No, impact coming out. Doesn't look like Blur exactly knows that there's a player there. Gets rid of the nade a little bit too soon. The gunfight coming out. Blur does go down. I don't believe he knows that the player's down right now. They do are flanking strip side. So I don't believe that they know, I don't think he knows that the player was down, but you know, a great Attackers impact the from the Malusi across the, uh, across the round. I feel like this is a really good round for them. And that's where the spawn peak was, this is a bold pull onto the Jacuzzi wall, see if you get any picks out there. No, Jaeger prone on those pronos. Very I'm very impressed with the Changing coordination mix. across the board that, you know, WTS has, and, uh, um, you know, and trusting their players to win these gunfights. You know, usually you see a Wamai in, you know, this area just as, like, a Hell in a Cell player where they he has to play his life for as long as he can. And uh, I'm very interested to see how they try to execute this this time. It does look like there is the Maverick who's trying to Maverick into Garage to see if he can get Chala at all. Not Chala, excuse me, Harry Potter. While the, um... Zofia does try and pressure top garage. Does manage to hit the dirty shot onto the Wamai. I don't know what the Wamai is looking at. Especially since you're looking at main breach. I feel like you shouldn't be looking at main breach. Especially aggressively peeking like that. Does look like they might take garage control as soon as possible right here. But, you know, playing your life across the board is probably the most important thing that you could do. Does look like the Malusi and the Buck are in an engagement across the map. But he does fall off. And they are now in a post plant position to see if they can try and, you know, get any of these frags onto the players falling back. They do know where the buck is on a camera, I believe, the bow camera. I'm very interested to see how they try to make this execute. Buck is the one with the diffuser across the map, so he's kind of put in a bad situation right now. You know, pre is coming around everywhere. I'm very interested to see if they're going to be able to win any of these gunfights. Peaked is the one with the diffuser, so that's why I'm trying to stick closest to him. It's because... A lot of the attackers are on the opposite side of the map. Pete does hit a dirty shot with the uh, Jaeger. Taking the Jaeger off the board is a great pick. You know, taking out that, you know, cross the map progression. Down coming out onto the Valk. Confirmed onto the Valk. You know, a 2v4 situation right now. Peaking Black Box does go down Black Box. Does look like the Finca is in the other side. I don't believe that they know that the other players in the other side uh, is still in um, construction. But, you know, Zofia walking up. It, through construction, they had the player pressure up white, I believe. Or not white, excuse me, uh, red. And, um, the Zofia, or not Zofia, but Finca doubling up as well, or tripling up. Securing that round for them. You know, a great round across the board for Elation. I feel like having that buck with the diffuser is a little questionable. But, past that, you know, great round. Very impressed with how they, you know, dealt with the adversity of their hard breach being taken off the board immediately you know switching to that all right let's just go maverick open the wall and see if we can apply pressure you know if that well my doesn't get picked so early i feel like that's probably a wts a wts round especially since Defenders you know the my is has to play his life action. there and instead of trying to flick towards the main breach i should i wouldn't even worry about main breach and maybe sit more on the raft uh, r2 or r90 because those are more safe areas than it is r1 and he was kind of stuck on R1. I'm very surprised that he didn't try to move over at all. Zofia hit a dirty shot, so, you know, that's a great round on their part. Very interested to see if uh, any of these players are looking to adapt any of the strategy or if they're trying to run it back and they understand that the Wamai is the reason why they might have lost that round. Other than that, I also feel like that was a great round on uh, W2ES part, especially since they had a, a, an instant spawn peak onto Alation. And, um, and past that, bomb. you know, the players are, were hitting their shots across the board. It just sucks that they weren't able to put themselves in positions, or they weren't able to win their ones across the board. 
Charge just because complete. both teams are really good at naming, they're really good mechanically. So I'm not very surprised to see that they aren't, you know, these teams are as even as they are. Um, it does look like we're probably gonna have a Maverick trick on the front side, maybe a. Uh, yep, it does look like they're gonna try and do a main jacuzzi take. Drone is getting shot out right now. It does look like. The Malusi is going to try and rotate all the way over, see if he can probably get impact off the wall. Doesn't see anybody on the wall. I believe the ace did just rotate all the way around, realizing that the impact did come out. Called the impact. Fink is in, ready to gun. Gun up. You know, I'm very interested to see how the Jaeger tries to take it, because he is now the person who would be, you know i.e. the person hell in the cell, just because he's put in a situation where it's almost unwinnable. He has to play his life for as long as he can. If they manage to drone him out right here and manage to stun him with the buck stuns, then there's nothing else that the Jaeger could do. It does look like they isolate the Jaeger right now, just because the Jaeger did get a little bit too aggressive onto the buck. Gets picked by the buck with a pre-fire. Beautiful pre-fire coming out from buck. But um, that's something that you can probably expect a lot more. It does look like there might be a little bit of lag on their end, just because they aren't able to you know, get open the walls. I do know that it's hosted on central, so I'm... Sell them out! Kind of concerned by that, but there is the Malusi below who is lurking below. I'm very interested to see if he tries to go, you know, maybe bar, see if he can apply any pressure on the bar. Does it look like the smoke is playing top red, trying to, you know, contest a lot of the pushes? He does have main wall to worry about, and there is a person on the main wall repel. One is droning outside jail window. Valkyrie does get a little bit too aggressive, gets slammed by the Finca. You know, one is rotating all the way down to see if he can get any pressure outside. Does look like he barely missed his drone. Does get pressured by the last player. They do start to open up the red wall, and does it's starting to look like you know almost an unwinnable situation unless this flank can come out from the Malusi. Malusi hits the perfect flank at the perfect time. I tried to switch to it, but I couldn't. Does look like Peaked might be still under while Shrimp is on the main repel. Peaked being put in a 1BX situation. A beautiful flank coming out from Flynn's right now. Get my second wind right now. You know, last player under. That was a great round from WTS. As long as they don't get a little bit too aggressive in this round, this should be a WTS round. Especially since they have the diffuser isolated all the way in church. And it doesn't look like Buck is leaving his spot anytime soon. He's looking to get some picks. Maybe try to go up, walk up red. But past that, this is a great round from w uh, WTS. You know, the picks across the board were really impressive to me. Just because, you know... The players, the the flank coming out, and they you know do their due diligence, and maybe have you know some flank watch, maybe a drone. You know, sometimes you see a nomad gridlock, or maybe even claymores, and I know that there are claymores on operators because that's what Ace has. I don't understand, but he might have put a claymore there. I'm not going to judge him right now, but there might have been a claymore there. I'm not positive about that so i'm just going to assume that there is a there was a claymore there and it was shot and that's truly unfortunate just because you need to have that audio cue of oh there's a person flanking because the claymore was shot um unfortunately they weren't able to detect that the claymore was shot and you know or if there was a claymore and it doesn't look like they were able to they lost the round because of the flank and that was a beautiful flank coming up from flynn's very impressed with how he decided to, uh, you know, slow his roll. Even though players were starting to die on site, this flank that he, the flank that he's pulling right now, or not right now, the flank that he pulled out was, uh, you know, the superior play and the the correct countermeasure to try and, you know, counter. However, Elation tried to take that. Going back down to the da uh, downstairs basement. Last time WTS did win this with, you know, kind of. Isolating the diffuser once again. I feel like Elation has a little bit of a problem putting the diffuser in the right place so they can get their execute off properly. A lot of the time that you see the diffuser on the opposite side of the map when they're ready to take a certain side, like Buck sitting in cash. Or not cash, excuse me, sitting in outside. Doesn't look like he did get picked a little bit off of a peak hole somewhere. Does look like he might have gotten wall, got wall banged or pressured through. Flint's is upstairs, so they are trying to pressure through Garage. I believe they might be pushing Jacuzzi as well, obviously. You know, kind of a default area to do. It does look like he switched to the hard breaches, or not hard breaches, excuse me, the soft breaches on the player while the Zofia keeps 
the claymores. Very interesting lineup to see, or a very interesting use of utility, because usually you see the Zofia hold the hold the uh, soft breachers, and maybe someone else do uh, someone else pressure. Does look like Flynn's is in a very bad situation right now. He does get swung by the buck, and the buck doesn't win immediately. But the refrag coming out from Jinx, a one-for-one one trade right now. But I feel like that was a very important trade for Flynn's. And he did his job perfectly right there. He got that. He got his pick on the round. He did his job. It's not like he had a lot of utility to waste because his utility is to, specifically to keep him alive. But it does take away a lot of the utility on Buck. Especially since that's their main verticality. They do have the two breaches on Zofia and Ace. Along with the Maverick charge and some of the uh, and some of the other um, ace canisters as well. But past that, there's not a lot of utility or not a lot of utility that you can afford to burn. Does look like they're starting to take care of the ADSs, maybe take care of some of the Lucys as well. Doesn't look like they're trying to pressure blue all that much. Doesn't look like they're trying to do a moto main take. Maybe try and take care of that top or that triple wall inside of the church. Which is exactly what the ace is trying to do right now. Valkyrie being tucked into a corner does look like the guns are starting to come alive right now. It doesn't look like he's able to find the one player. The 2v3 situation right now, especially with the uh, ace being put in a perfect situation. Can he find the Malusi? doesn't find the Malusi directly, but is managing to play down a 2v2 situation right now. Now a 1v2 situation. Bagel put in the... 1vx situation see if he can win this out no it hits the first shot onto the malusi or not the malusi but the malusi hits the first shot onto the finca does he know that the last player is arsenal manages to not do a lot of damage to the maverick but the maverick does want to try and re-swing out and doesn't isn't aiming while he's peeking you know that's something that you should probably do but past that you know great round both ends i feel like that was really a round of intuition maybe if you switch out uh, the vigil for more of a supportive operator something like a bandit or a mute i understand that the vigil's whole purpose is to be a menace on the roam but one of the things is you're trading out that utility for something that you should probably you probably need also on top of that i they do have a Valk on the board, but now they're using Capcan. Switching out for that Captain is kind of questionable for me. I don't really like the utility usage on Capcan too much, just because it's not a lot of information, especially if they start doing if they do their diligence. And Drone, find out where the Capcans are. I don't think that Capcans are great pick on this whole map. Um, but I'm very interested to see where he wants to try and put his Capcan. It does look like he puts his Capcan on the bottom main. But, no, going back to the last round, I feel like if, um, maybe if the Valk were to throw one of her C4s out the breach onto the main stairs, just, you know, kind of burn that utility, they probably would have shot the C4 as well. But, you know, that's just something that you need to at least try. Try and make a play there just because you're putting yourself in the black box corner. A situation where it's not very winnable. We're looking through the breach, couldn't find one. One did walk in through Moto. Uh, unfortunately, didn't have the uh, correct information on, on at hand, so I couldn't really make any decisive decision about that. Does look like they're probably going to go back to that jacuzzi main wall. Does look like Flynn's is start deciding to go with that Swamp Peak. They do know that Flynn's is Swamp Peaking right now. Does look like Jinx is probably going to manage to catch him alive. This is a Yep, Flynn's gets picked out immediately because they do. They had their uh, they had their drones inside of spawn, finding that they're um, finding the vigil, finding out where he's spawn peeking. Because they said, all right, this vigil is spawn peeking every round. Where's where's he spawn peeking? I'll go slam him. That's what happened. Does look like they decide to switch up their utility usage a little bit. And finally bring all soft destruction possible and keeping that sledge instead of a buck. You know, this is literally the best lineup that you technically could run for this basement defense. Especially since there is no Cade, but, you know, switching, uh, still having that Maverick on board in, in case they do go downstairs. An incredibly uh, interesting pick. Does look like that. I don't know why that looks like it is electrocuted, but knowing that it's banned is a little questionable to me. 
Um, Maverick ke holding the nades as well. You know, still great utility across the board. Does look like they're trying to pressure down blue a little bit, but I don't believe anybody is there to play blue. Putting themselves in a 4v5 situation right now. Just because the Vigil did try and spawn peek a little bit too much, waiting for that time a little bit too much. Just because they managed to isolate them and uh, they killed them because of it. You know, one of the situations where you gotta say, alright, maybe relax on the spawn peaks, maybe we'll dial it back just so we can have it. But also, on top of that, I can understand why they support him doing that. Just because he's doing a lot of work when it comes to, you know, getting these impactful frags on the round now this is one of the situations where i do see a buck a lot on the downstairs because you can see if the buck shoots through that top wall onto arsenal you automatically have players playing there it does look like they're going to ace open this wall once again fortunately jaeger's going to be put hell in the cell once again while burr is applying pressure onto hulk it does look like they managed to get the pick on the Hulky downstairs and they're starting to make their main stairs execute. Maverick getting the pick and Finka getting the pick onto the last player. Star in a 1vx situation. I don't believe that was winnable. Um, you know, it does look like to me that WTS is a very momentum based team. And when they understand the countermeasure to their to the strategies that Alation are bringing out on their attacking half, you know, they're 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 composed when that happens. But when they don't win their initial gunfights and they don't win their their momentum swingers, it just kind of seems like it snowballs a little bit too much. Maybe try and dial it back a little bit and have a little bit more. Uh, sound strategies or if you want to try and bring out some bold strategies especially since this is the defensive half if you want to try and bring out any of some bold strategies this is the time it's the last um this is the last round of their defensive half so i don't believe it it could technically go into that other defensive half it does look like this game might be slated for a uh an overtime game just because the teams are so evenly matched but you do have to equate a lot of the rounds one that WTS had won due to Flynn hitting some dirty spawn peaks doesn't look like he's gonna be spawn peaking this round at all just because you know especially since he got picked the last round it's not worth it they realize it's not worth it and this is what a good IGL does I don't know who the IGL like, might also be a coach, but this is what an experienced team would do. They'd say, all right, we had success with the spawn peak. Doesn't look like we're going to be spawn peaking anytime soon, just because, you know, we understood that that's what the momentum was based off of. And as soon as they started to countermeasure our momentum swinger, we're going to switch it up on them, try and bring out something new. Very impressed that they were able to, like, uh, they were able to, you know, get themselves in a perfect situation like that does look like they have that shield that's not you know normal to have a shield there very interested to see if they try to impact trick this but no one on the defensive side has impact so i'm very confused with those holes above just no need for those holes but past that this execution can be very interesting does look like hulky gets a pick onto the sledge probably playing windows if i had to guess doesn't look like he was but he did get picked from below through holes that they made doesn't look like they understand the players there but jinx is getting the refrag onto the jaeger jaeger was trying to dip but didn't have enough time to dip doesn't look like you're starting to apply a little bit outside pressure maybe the castle gets a little bit too aggressive but still hits a dirty shot anyways D that's a good night in the chat if i've ever seen one just because you have the peeker's advantage. Why aren't you clicking? Click! I don't believe that they know that the player is in. One player getting picked immediately back. It does look like they have logic control. Did they know that the player's main stairs? A nade was getting cooked, but he cancels out the nade. It does look like Shrimp is the person who's going to decide to try and pinch him close. Creeper coming out. It doesn't look like it was able to land much. Refire coming out from the last player as well. A refrag coming out from Bird. It looks like this might be Burr's round. Burr's really trying to carry this team on his back. Him and Jinx both. The LMG meta is just so strong in this game. I'm very impressed with how they've been able to play it. 
doesn't look like he was able to catch that one player in bathroom, but he does rotate outside bathroom. It's probably going to be a gym take, maybe even a master take, but I don't believe that this is a winnable situation. A dirty shot hitting from Burr. A 1vx situation. Why is the mute getting aggressive there? If the mute doesn't get aggressive there, I feel like, you know, that might be winnable. And Burr hits the last shot. A dirty pre fire as well. I don't know. Uh, mute. Mute. Don't get aggressive there. Mute. Come on. If the mute relaxes right there and says, all right, we're going to play C4s. Or you, even, you, you manage to take over Lodgy with the holes in Lodgy. That is one of the most prime positions that you can have because they're not in Lodgy. They're in Con. I understand that you want to try and go swing Con, especially since there's a hole in Con. But if you relax right there and maybe try and play a little bit more passively trying to get because they have no idea where you are until they decide to look over to check if you're if you rotated logi and they never knew that you're a logi Defenders just because they try to face check it and with your gun the smg 11 and the shotgun you should win 90 percent of the gunfights that they face check you because you have a shotgun and the highest dps gun in the game i very strongly doubt that the finko is going to win that gunfight unless she took a long range engagement you gave her the long-range engagement because you decided to swing out. Into the hunt. Great round from Elation right there. You know, especially from Burr. Burr came alive right there. Switching onto the Orcs was a little bit questionable. Um, you know, a Thunderbird. I am not very comfortable with a Thunderbird myself, but or not myself. Uh, but I don't really. You don't really see Thunderbird a lot picked in comp, especially since she is one of the most overpowered operators in the game with a solid game does look like an instant spawn peak is taken out while one player does dip we'll have to check the times on that because that might be a little uh, one got disconnected we will re-host past that this is probably going to be an elation round we'll have to check with the admin to make sure that you know this game, if it's going to be a 4-2 round or a 4-4 round. Starla does get the reflag on the bird. Burr hit, gets hit once. Peak trying to, peaked is trying to quick peek. There might, it's going to be a pretty interesting battle right here. Looks like Peak does get damaged a lot. While Hulky tries to back him up and they decide to go right, take dirt. So they're able to take dirt. One nade is going to get dragged out here. Out. In a true tragedy that they didn't manage to hit the uh peak is upstairs still trying to get a wall bang maybe sending out a c4 fake c4 though thermite is going to try and go open up the hatch looks like he understands that the player is still there does walk up onto the thermite I don't believe that they know where the maverick is maverick in a 1vx situation I don't believe that's going to be winnable at all well, I have to ask what the uh, round count is. Pull up my DMs. Just ask if we need it rehost. We need a rehost. You know, but looking back at that round, um, I do. I'm very impressed with how Alicia decided to take that uh, initiative. Even though one player did get disconnected, the double spawn peak coming out from the capkin, very aggressive play. I don't know if it was within the uh, time limit, but um, does look like we're going to continue on with the 
five to split. Continuing that time. Um, both teams still have their timeouts. If I were WTS, I would take this time to call a timeout just because this is one of the rounds that you need the timeout. But unfortunately, the timer does pass, so you can't call the timeout. They def in my opinion, I feel like they needed the timeout the most just because this you don't want to be pushed to match point before you call a timeout. Um, the LMG meta is still strong, and I'm surprised they're not abusing it, in my opinion. Especially with the three hard breachers on the board. Very questionable play, on my opinion, just because you're not really trying to do too many split takes. You could still Mav open the main wall, and then... It, it, look at how Elation took it. Elation took main wall, and you can still do it in Jacuzzi wall. You can Mav open Jacuzzi wall. You can Mav trick move in Jacuzzi wall. While you have the ace, go take the other side of the map. Past that, there's not much else that you would need to do. Very interesting. A uh, little bit of team-friendly fire coming out right now, but you know, I'm very. It it, it kind of saddens me in a way, just because I feel like they have such a good a good team, but you know, it's almost a little disappointing just because they they're not using the correct operators. Just because three hard breaches on a map are on a map. And a site that wouldn't really require three hard breaches. Very questionable to me. But past that, it doesn't look like they're playing cash very aggressively with four people. Doesn't look like a lot of people are on the other side of the map. They are going to go get the main wall. It does look like they start to rotate over. But unfortunately, they ran out of time. Not a lot of reinforcements going up. They still have pocketed three reinforcements, not two. They had four at the beginning of the round, only using six. I can tell you where the six went. There was one on CC wall, and it looks like one player was downed outside. Isn't it immediately able to pick the player, but... Looks like Peaks is going to try and get aggressive right here. Doesn't look like they understand that Peaks is going to be outside right now. They are going to be able to pick the player up while Burt is down on the opposite side of the map. Very interested to see how they try and take this game. Doesn't look like they've immediately opened up the breach just yet. Looks like they just started to, but the castle is going to shoot the castle down. Castle is going to jump out immediately and jump back in, getting a little bit getting very frisky with how he wants to play this. Castle, or the Sledge is finally opening up the breach. See if they can apply any pressure onto that main breach. 2v3, basically, along the site, just because no one else is in a position to win any of these gunfights. Jinx is holding the top, while Shrimp is holding the hatch. Or, not top, excuse me, the rafters. Bulky does get the impact kill onto one of the players rotating Lodgy. While wow, Shrimp is uh, trying to watch, but Shrimp didn't hit his shots, unfortunately. Losing that one situation. Double peak coming out from the one player. Bagel put in a clutch situation right now. Let's try and spectate Bagel. But does he understand what players are? Unfortunately, he doesn't. It's match point for Elation right now. Uh, this is probably going to be an elation game unless they can try and get a 4-0 comeback. Now, I've seen wilder things, but I don't feel like they have a lot of momentum on their side just because they're trying to struggle to put things together. Um, I'm not usually, re in recent casts, you usually see that I blame the, ca or I blame the captains slash IGLs a lot. In my opinion, I feel like the IGL on WTS is doing a great job despite the score. The thing that's screwing them up is the trust in their calls. Because one thing is they took too long to open up a jacuzzi wall that was Defenders never reinforced. There's there was hard or there were soft breaches on ace and there was also the uh, sledge on the board. And you could also technically thermite the wall as well and ace the wall as well. None of that happened. They just tried to take ones across the board and, like, got punished for it, even though they were up. 
it, it's very interesting that they, they're they not looking to see what they're doing wrong, just because I feel like this is one of those situations where if you trust your teammates' calls and you trust that you're, in, and you, when the player calls for you to rotate to open up a wall as a sledge, you drop everything you're doing to go open up that wall. That's, that's something that you need to trust in your teammates to do, just because it's one of those situations where if you don't, you're going to end up losing this for your team. It does look like they're deciding to do maybe a split take on the jacuzzi. Well, Mai's put back in that Hell in the Cell type area on T1. Not T1, excuse me, on R1. Bandit is going to try and bandit trick this main wall, but there is a Maverick on the main wall, so it's just kind of pointless in my opinion. Especially since there is no Thatcher. Maybe if you ban Mav and rotate to the Thatcher... Uh, and keep the Thatcher, the bandit tricks would actually be incredibly overpowered, especially with the new bandit buff. Kind of impressed, or kind of not impressed. Very disappointed. Walking into the C4 doesn't get killed by the C4, even though the C4 was two feet away. I am incredibly impressed that he was he's alive. A bomb has been located. Attackers have located a bomb. <laughs> Looks like they have a lot of the uh, uh clutch if you can your baby a little bit louder because it looks like my audio just like tanked for you for some reason. But um, past that, that was a great round on Alation's part. Or not Alation's, but excuse me, WTS. Match point still. WTS had a really good impactful frag entering into construction. That's what you want to see coming out from your players. It does look like they're going to rotate back down to bottom church. Bring back out that warden. Hopefully they don't get spawn peak they get a double spawn peak again. But it does look like they're starting to, you know, play a little bit like crackheads, just because they can. One of these uh things that you really want to see from WTS is you know, see how well they use these three hard breaches. I I I'm the firm belief that you don't need Defense three hard breaches for the site. Especially since, you know, there's no Cade. And they're they're probably gonna try and impact main hatch. I'd much prefer to see Maybe get rid of the Maverick or the Therm for more soft destruction, maybe even Sophia, especially since Sophia has two concussions, two impacts, and on top of that, she also has soft destruction slash claymores. It's a lot of utility that you could use, maybe even flank watch, do any of that, but unfortunately, you're not putting yourself in a good situation right now by doubling up with those Maverick slash Therm. I understand that you're trying to use it for utility clear, but there's better utility. I'm glad to see that that Sophia is finally switched Five seconds remaining. you know Zofia's uh, LMG is just too strong to not to use especially if you're not particularly playing well like Hulky is and if you're not playing well that's the perfect operator to go Bluefish isn't playing too well either but it's not you know like most of the teams have two players who are carrying each of them doesn't look like pa or past that doesn't look like much else is happening um does look like they're probably gonna try and do a dirt to maybe even garage take. I don't even know where the half the players are. All right, they are doing a strip take. All right, perfect. They do have peaked in bar. Peaked is probably gonna try and aggressively swing most of this. Does get a lot of drone real estate right now. Peaked getting damaged very heavily from the players. Does look like he's going to try and rotate down, but does get hit from the Therm onto Deep. Or not Therm, excuse me, Ace. Therm getting the frag onto Jinx. That's two of their, almost their top players, Jinx and Peaked, off the board. Leaving Burr almost in a, almost in a 2VX right now. Just because Shrimp is carrying his weight, but doesn't look like Bluefish is able to get anything going. Burr does get the impact frag on the top of the stairs. And does get refragged from the player rotating outside. What a beautiful shot from Staria. 
that's what you want to see just because that's a great execute to say, all right, we know where that player is. Putting themselves in 2v, 2vx situation, doubled up on site with no rotate, church is free. You know, screw everything else. What? what? Does look like shrimp manages to rotate Attack back into church with no rotate. I'm very confused. If they manage to take the 2vx or 1vx on any of these operators, it is a GG because they have that site completely free. That's what you want to see. I'm kind of hope if I were the coach right now or if I were the IGL, I would call for. All right, you just got that impact kill. Story is having a great game right now. The diffuser is down on the opposite side of the map, and Shrimp is going to continue to play the diffuser. That is not what you want to do. Hatch is open. Doesn't it? Doesn't look like they're able to. F and he does find the kill. I was about to say. Doesn't look like the mute's going to be able to f understand that the player is going to try and rotate top hatch. He does know that the player's rotating top hatch, but manages to whiff his shot. Uh, great round from relation. This is what you want to see in them trying to pick it up. In every round that they've picked, uh, that they've decided to like switch it on. Then again, relation is kind of throwing by playing these meme operators like Warden upstairs but past that a great round across the board does look like they're trying to take it a little bit more seriously fishy is going back to that thunderbird i'm very impressed with how staria decided to pick up that round you know that that is the real mvp of that round just because you know getting those impact frags while still being on one of those hard Defenders support roles droning your players in as well you know that, just a great round trust and that's what i'm talking about trusting the calls across the board that you know you need to go do this and uh have a little bit more fun with it and this game's more about having fun than it is like anything else if you're not having fun playing the game then why are you playing and you could definitely tell that star is starting to have fun just because that that was a great a great round you know going to rotate outside into the main stairs to a wall bang onto their top fragger who is upstairs being a menace is one of something that you love to see with fish he still hasn't managed to find a kill just yet but i feel like that might start to pick up on the other side of things does look like everybody's managed to carry their weight maybe not hulky but i feel like hulky's doing his job across the board not a lot you can complain about either teams um, a lot of utility is brought by Thunderbird, and I like Thunderbird a lot just because, you know, Thunderbirds, I, I believe I did the math correctly, you get about 540 health per round from all three Kona stations. That's just something too, too strong to not abuse. It does look like Pete gets the kill onto the ace, that's one of the harbors down, you are correct. Um. Burr is still in stock, so it doesn't look like they're going to be able to identify the player's stock. One is going to play the main as well. While Staria gets the team kill! No! On one of your top players as well. Unfortunate. Hulky trying to get this impact frag on the peak. Gets a frag on the peak. But Burr is still alive in stock. Unfortunate. Manages to rotate through bar, gets a kill onto both players' bar. It's probably going to be a GG's unless W2ES can pull, especially Staria, can try and pull something out. Two huge kills. This is actually winnable. This is hugely winnable because you can go back to site. Alright, this is starting to pick up a little bit. Let's see if we can start spectating Staria. Uh, my apologies also to the people who are watching this cast for staying in overhead a lot of this game. For some reason, it wouldn't let me go to the players that I chose. But, um, you know, let's see if they are able to isolate this player. Onto the main stairs. Doesn't look like he understands that the player isn't close. I mean, it's just to lose the gunfight. GG's ringing out in the chat, and it's a great round. Or, not really a great round from Malaysian, but, you know... A dub's a dub. 7-4 is a score. Um, hopefully you want to see better things from both teams. Um, 
that that was a barnyard burner if I've ever seen one. You know, a lot of uh, just pure gun skill coming out. Some decent coordination on both halves. Not great, decent, passable. Uh, if I were looking at VOD reviews, there's a lot, there's still stuff that you would need to fix, like you know, trusting your teammates' calls on. Um, On WTS's side, but you know, a lot of elation played really well. I'm very impressed with how they played. Unfortunately, um, one of their players did kind of fall off, but you know, great round across the board. He did his job. Um, past that, there's not much that I'd have to say, just because there, there's there's a lot of what ifs in this game that if like all right what if one player doesn't disconnect what if they don't get double spawn and peak that round what if they didn't get if they didn't go spawn and peak that one round i feel like there's a lot of what ifs in the uh up in the air and uh it does look like you're gonna need to try and figure some stuff out my name is alpha i'm joined by clutch thank you for joining us tonight hopefully everybody has a good night um, you can find me at Twitter on, uh, or you can find me on Twitter at uh, a one p h a underscore r six alpha r six, except for the one is an I. And thank you for joining me. I hope everybody has a good day or a good night, and uh, stay safe out there.